to my channel I hope you've had a great week of course I would introduce my channel looking like some kind of possessed robotic demon um, oh my gosh I had no idea what I was gonna film today I was feeling a little bit unmotivated I have been over the last few weeks I think it's just because we've been in quarantine and lockdown but whenever I feel unmotivated I just go back to my SFX makeup looks and that always makes me feel good and I just enjoy doing them so much and you guys seem to like my SFX looks so this is some kind of like scary smiley don't worry be happy <laughs> don't worry be happy makeup look so yeah this would be perfect for halloween for dress up parties for pranking your friends i don't know where else you'd wear something creepy to maybe you've got a party on and you have to dress up as something with the letter s scary <laughs> you know you could just be creative with it i love scaring people i love giving them the reactions that they have um too bad i can't really wear this out i should really walk down the street with this on eh because it is level two here in new zealand <laughs> imagine that oh my god a few of you asked me in the past if i could do like a reaction video like in public like wear my sfx makeup and then scare people in public i don't think i would have the guts to do that like wear this out in the daytime like i would definitely wear this out on halloween but not like in the day i absolutely love these contacts i've been wearing them for all my gucci looks i've been doing on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram then please do it it's alicia jones with two s's i upload a lot more makeup looks on there than i do to youtube this reminds me of my silent demon tutorial that i did on youtube um which went kind of viral on instagram so many people recreated it i wanted to do something similar like the mouth but i wanted to do the mouth really like extended and just really creepy and really smiley so yeah i hope you guys like this look and if you want to see how to get this creepy makeup tutorial then just keep on watching um so anyway we're going to get started so i'm taking my liquid latex this one is from body fx um it just says fx products on there so body fx is a good new zealand um sfx store and you can also buy online you can see it's like all patchy it's meant to be the white color but it's kind of gone yellow so i think it's gone a little bit like off <coughs> honestly that stinks um a lot of my friends who have been over when i'm doing liquid latex would know um especially like cass you are someone who mentioned the smell i know it absolutely stinks and matthew came into my room when i was doing like that exposed wrist um and he was like oh my gosh don't get high in your room with that smell whatever if anything bad happens then that is on me so anyway before the liquid latex you want to take some toilet tissue and you want to map out where you're going to do it so i'm going to do like a crazy big creepy smile so i'm going to do about that long so i'm just going to pull it rip it where um it kind of stopped slowly rip it down lots of people don't use toilet tissue while doing liquid latex but i do i think it just makes it look more thick and more skin like and you can make more like flaps so now back to the liquid latex i'm taking some and putting it on my sponge And you just want to put liquid latex all in the area where you want the mouth you want to make sure it goes over your your own mouth some people say don't put liquid latex near your mouth but <laughs> come on girl Mm-hmm. 
look like a bloody duck. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I look like Homer Simpson. <laughs> so what we want to do is cut this a little bit more, like the the slit, um, so it's a little bit wider, if that makes sense. Just so it like continues. And the mistake is don't cut this too wide because I have done that mistake before and I actually did that on Halloween and I was gutted but I didn't want to do it again so I just left it. Ah, okay, just stab my pimple. Don't stab yourself because I just did. Okay, now I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Primal Colors eyeshadow in hot black and I'm taking it on a small brush and putting it like in, like just inside the crevice. This will make the whole mouth and it, you'll see it starting to come together. This will just add some depth and like detail as well and blood is dark so you want to make sure that your blood is really dark red. That's the clue. That's the clue, that's the tips. Like, see if you see any white or any toilet tissues, just color it over with black. Okay, so now that's done, we want to do some bruising. So I'm gonna take some red. This is the NYX Cosmetics Primal Colors in Hot Red. Okay, so I'm gonna put the red around here. We're gonna create like some bruising. And creating bruises um, disguise like the latex line as well. So I'm not even like perfect with this. I just go anywhere. So you just want to bring some red like up, blend it out kind of thing. I so need a new one of these, but I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette. This is what I used all the time for years and I still have it. It's such a good colorful palette. Look how much I've hit like the SFX shades that I needed. Um, so I'm gonna take like a mixture of these two purples because they're great like bruising kind of colors just go really lightly with the darker colors oh my god this top's giving me a wedgie it's like one of those ones that go down into your crotch and you can like button it up oh <laughs> See, and that's the thing with SFX, if it looks so bad in the start, just don't give up. Like, keep trying and trying and trying and trying. I know people say, oh, if it doesn't look good, just start again. That is not the way. Like, you just need to keep going and going until it, like, looks realistic. And if you've got an artistic mind, you can just keep building up and, like, changing things to make it look really real. So build it up into here and then kind of just, like, blend it out. Or make it look like you're a dying zombie corpse. <laughs> so the magical part is scab blood. You guys need scab blood if you are doing SFX makeup. So my favorite scab blood ever, which is like a perfect consistency and it's a perfect dark red color, is the Ben Nye Fresh Scab Blood. And that's what it looks like. So take it on the end of a spatula. I just got this from Spotlight. It was from... BYS, that brand, buys. Um, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, it was literally 10 bucks. And that's something I s discovered, which was pretty cool, is that they sell SFX stuff in Spotlight, if you're from New Zealand. Oh, and by the way, I did buy this off trademe.co.nz if you are from New Zealand. Um, and if you aren't from New Zealand, just type it up in Google and it should come up. Okay. 
Okay, so after that step, what you want to do is spread a little bit of scabbard around the edges here to kind of disguise it in the skin. But you don't want to um, add too much on it, so it will start to look fake. Okay, so like I said, if you think you put too much scale blood in one area, you can cover it with a little bit of foundation. You can call me Smiley. Okay, I'm such a creep. Now, actually, before I go, I wanted to do one more thing. I think it looks too, like, girly with my own eyes. To make it a little bit more creepy, I'm going to add in these contacts that a lot of you guys have been liking. These are from Body FX. They're called, like, Niji Hayuga. Um... And honestly, these are so cool. They're like white and black. I'll just put them in and you'll be able to see. Bam! And it makes it so, so much better. It just, it's amazing. So if you want to take your looks to the next level, if you do creative makeup or SFX makeup, buy these contacts. They are amazing. I think they're like $30 or $36, but they're so worth it. I think these are the ones where you can use like over and over again. Like, look at this. Oh my God. I look like some possessed demon that's about to come at you oh my god <gasps> as soon as i put the contacts in it just makes my eyes look really creepy and it's so funny because whenever i put these contacts in like when i was doing my gucci looks on instagram matthew wasn't looking in my eyes he's like no don't look at me he's like those eyes are yuck he kept saying like the eyes don't look real they look robotic or something and he really like gets creeped out with these which is funny because he doesn't really get creeped out as much with the all white ones but these he just finds them really creepy anyway if you guys do like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget if you do recreate this look then tag me on instagram it's just alicia jones with two s's and i will reshare it on my stories i love sharing the love as well and i always love seeing your creative looks too if you like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i upload every monday at 8 30 new zealand time it would mean so so much to me and i'll see you guys in my next week's video